Okay, so uh, I came across this cool problem in a book that says that uh, you can make a circuit with six op amps right there um, that can solve a differential equation. And the differential equation they ask you to create is kind of a spring mass, uh, damped spring mass system. So it's kind of the same as like a, a pendulum with air drag in a way. It's easier to think of it like that. Um, it basically has an op amp that's an inverter. It takes in a signal, the, the F of T, and um, runs that through another inverter that's actually going to be a summer. You can see that it sums from two other inputs that we'll see in a bit. Um, it sends that to an integrator, um, so it's going to integrate the signal once. That means that the input's going to be the derivative of the output, and then another integrator, which means that the first input here is going to be the second derivative of um, the total output here. So you can see we're getting um, from the second one kind of an acceleration uh, from the, the third one here, uh, or the second to the last, we're getting a velocity type idea. And then that's sending it out, the velocity sends out to um, this inver inverter here, which just then sends the signal back to the summer. And then the acceleration type one sends it out to uh, non-inverting um, op amp, which is just going to push the signal through, in my case, um, into the summer again. And then it just keeps going through like that. Hopefully that didn't make you sick. So here's the circuit. I'm using a quad op amp here to do the first four, uh, which is the non-inverting that takes the input signal, the summer, and then the two integrators. And then this is the uh, this is a dual op amp. And this looks fuzzy. Uh, that's going to handle um, sending the velocity and the acceleration back to this guy here. Now the problem that I was having for a while was that this quad op amp here uh, runs from uh, VCC or high to ground, but this guy here wants to go from um, high to low, which is VCC to negative VCC. So I had to um, create a little voltage divider here and a virtual ground in the middle. Um, to act as as its ground and so it splits the the voltage from high to ground into kind of like a fake high to ground and then ground to negative high or low or whatever all right so that's the the circuit there uh, now I have a um, voltmeter here that looks like it's in equilibrium pretty much you'll see compared to what we're about to get that it is in equilibrium um, and so what I'm going to do is I got my power supply here and then I got a plug uh, there um, for the op amps to power the op amps going to the wall. And um, I have one single, let's see this, uh, one single wire going into the ground right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give just a quick impulse with this uh, hot wire here into the ground. And when I do that, we're going to start to see the voltage here uh, oscillate. Just like if I was to give a push to a pendulum, um, one single impulse force, and we watch it kind of swing back and forth. So that's what's going to happen. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I grab this pin here, and I'm just going to touch it to see if I can do this. Touch it to it real quick. There, just gave it a zap. And now when we look at here, it swung low, and now it's swinging up high. And it'll hang out a bit, and it'll drop back down to negative, and it's oscillating just like a pendulum. But it's the potential difference that's oscillating. So it's acting just like a physical system, but it's, it's all electronic components, electrical components, just op amps, resistors, and, and capacitors. And it's swinging back and forth just like a pendulum. Swinging down, going negative, up to four, swings back, goes up to seven, swings down. You can see there's a difference between how low it swings because when we were in the equilibrium state, it was at a, a positive point zero two. So. I think uh, that if we considered that zero, then the swing in both directions would be about the same potential. There's lots of other factors as well, but this is dang cool. Um, 
was my first uh, electrical circuits class, and, and I feel I got something really awesome out of it. Uh, learned a lot in that class, but this takes the cake for anything that I've ever built. So, all right, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to put the uh, schematic that I first created in um, QUCS. I'm going to put that in the comments below so you guys can check that out and, and maybe someone else can try to build this too uh, or um, maybe like expand on the design and, and make it look cooler or something so I can see other ways of doing it. <clears throat>